Okay, so hi everyone. How are you? How do you feel? How are you? Are you good? Good evening. Good evening. So how are you? Good, fine. Good. Okay. Good, good evening, teacher. Marco, good evening. Okay, so Irma, how are you? Fine, fine, teacher, fine. Okay, I'm good. Okay. All right, so what about you, Marcelo and Erebin? How are you? Okay. okay. Let's see. Um, hello, good evening, Liliana. Okay, guys. So we are going to start with today's class, and we are going to start with the quote of the day. Um, let's see, Marcelo. Good evening, Liliana. Marcelo, help us read in the quote of the day. Life, life doesn't keep the we be, we be the best only time. Why try our best? Thank you. Okay, so life doesn't require, okay, require that we be the best, okay, only that we try our best, okay? So la vida dice no necesita que seamos los mejores, All right? So necesita que tratemos, que demos lo mejor de nosotros, All right? So life doesn't require that we be the best, only that we try our best, okay? So today we are going to start with the warm up. Then we have vocabulary, we have grammar, we have the practice time, and we have exercises. So guys, today we are going to start with there is or there are a chain, okay? So what we are going to do is this, okay? I'm going to start by telling you something like this, okay? Yo voy a comenzar y voy a decir. We are going to play with objects in the house, objetos en la casa. Okay, so I'm going to start and I'm going to say, there is a TV. Uh, yeah, there is a TV. Luego Yvette va a decir, there is, a, well, in this case, va a decir un objeto, okay, de que usted quiere decir, por ejemplo, there is a bed, okay, and there is a TV. Lo que yo dije, ¿ok? Como una cadenita, ¿ok? Yes. Very good. Y así sucesivamente. So, Yvette, you are the first one. De ahí Marco, ¿ok? The second one. De ahí Irma, de ahí Marcelo, de ahí Irvin, Suleima, Jose, Franklin, Erika y Liliana, ¿ok? So I'm going to start, después usted, Ivet. y después Marco, usted va a decir, there is a TV, there is lo que Ivet diga y el suyo. Y después Irma va a decir, there is a TV, lo que Ivet diga y lo que Marco diga y el suyo. Ok? Bye. Very good. So Ivet, okay. I'm going to start. Yo empiezo. Ok. There is a sofa. There is a table. Y el mío? There is a table and there is a sofa. Sofa, very good. Marco. Oh, Marco, you are on mute. There is a chair and there is a table mm -hmm. the, and there is a sofa. Very good, Marco. Irma. There is a chicken, there is a sofa, there mm -hmm. is a table, there is a... Um, Marco, se me <laughs> bien. Oh, my... <laughs> no, no. Okay, no. Marco, tell her. Dígaselo de nuevo. There is a chair. A chair. A chair. A chair, okay. yes, a chair, a chair. 
And you said Irma dijo kitchen. Yes. Okay, there is a kitchen. Okay, Marcelo. There is a chair. A chair. There is a sofa. Mm -hmm. Chair is a table. Yes. There is a kitchen. Uh -huh. There is a phone. A phone. Okay, very good, Marcelo. Irvin. Uh, there is a watermelon. Watermelon. There is a sofa. There is a table. There is a sofa. There is a chair. There is a chicken. There is a. No sé si dijo iPhone o phone. 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 There is a phone. Okay. Thank you, Irvin. Suleima. You are on mute, Suleima. Yes. There is a bed. There is a bed. There is a sofa. There is a, there sofa. Is a table. There is chair. There is a there chair. Is, there is kitchen. There is a kitchen. A kitchen. There is a chair. Mm -hmm. There is a phone. And there is a watermelon. Watermelon. Very good. Jose. Uh, there is a phone, mm -hmm. there is a watermelon, okay. there is a chair, yes. there is a kitchen, okay. there is a table, mm -hmm. there is a sofa, yes. there is a phone, creo que dijeron, uh -huh. and there is a sofa. And what about Suleimas? Uh, okay, Suleima so said there is a bed. Okay, a bed. Okay. Yes. Franklin. Uh, there is, is uh, no sé si dijeron, a sofa. There is a sofa. There is a sofa. Mm -hmm. There is a table. Yes. There is a chicken. A kitchen. A kitchen, perdón. Uh, there is a, a chair. A chair. A chair. Uh -huh. There is, where is melon. What a melon. Where melon. Mm -hmm. Where is. There is. Yeah. Where is there? Uh, bets. Is. Bets. Bets. Okay. Okay. Solo okay. okay, es. Okay. That's it. Okay. All right, guys. So this actually uh, game is for you too. I would say train your retention. Okay. Es para que usted entren en su retentiva. Yes. You should do it. Okay, you should do it. Debe de hacerlo eh, con otros, um, con otro tipo de objetos, all right, in English también. Tiene que hacerlo en su casita, okay? All right, guys, so we are going to start with today's class, and today we're going to start with vocabulary, okay? So we're going to talk about 19 words that describe the best work environments, the best work environments okay what is the meaning of work environments ambientes de trabajo yes so 19 19 words that describe the best work environments let's see help us reading from one to five please marco from six to ten uh, tania from 11 to 15 franklin and from 16 to 19 Irvin. Okay, from one. Okay, Marco, okay. let's start. Okay, um, fun, challenging, challenging, 
friendly, engaging, 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 ah. rewarding, co collaborative, okay, flexible, mm -hmm. supportive, yes. exciting, and caring. Okay. Franklin. Uh, professional, boosting, fax paid, in boosting, innovative, our, innovating, teamwork, motivating, okay, positive, okay, comfort, comfort, integrity. Okay, repeat after me, guys. Repeat after me. Thank you, Franklin. So, repeat after me. Fun, challenging, friendly, engaging, rewarding, rewarding, collaborative, collaborative, flexible, supportive, supportive, exciting, caring. Professional, busy, busy, be busy. Fast paced, fast paced. Innovative, innovative. Teamwork, teamwork. Motivating, positive, positive. Conf Comfortable, 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 integrity. Okay, so now let's see. Fun, divertido. Challenging, desafiante. Challenging, desafiante. Okay, but in a positive environment, in un ambiente positivo, right? So, challenging, friendly, amigable, friendly, engaging, cautivador, interesante, engaging, rewarding, rewarding. What is the meaning of rewarding? Alguien sabe or no? Rewarding? No? Por el ING, imagino que es una acción, pero no sé qué dice. Yes, rewarding es básicamente eh, cuando vas a ustedes como que es gratificante. Gratificante, rewarding. Cuando algo es súper es gratificante para ustedes, eso es algo rewarding. Rewarding, ok. It could be a, a situation, right? A good situation. So that is rewarding, gratificante, algo gratificante para ustedes. Collaborative, colaborativo, right? Collaborative. Flexible, flexible, flexible. Supportive, que le apoyan. Supportive, que encuentra apoyo. Yes. Exciting, exciting is something eh, interesante. Yes, exciting, emocionante. Caring, que lo cuidan. Caring, un ambiente laboral donde lo cuidan. Professional, profesional. Professional, busy. Un ambiente que es muy ocupado, que siempre está haciendo algo. That you are always doing something. Okay, busy, busy. We also have fast-paced. What is the meaning of fast-paced? Fast-paced, it's uh, this type of environment, es ese tipo de, um, de ambiente laboral donde todo es, anda súper rápido, okay? Donde se anda súper rápido, okay? De ritmo rápido, fast-paced. Innovative, innovador, yes, innovative. Teamwork, 
trabajo en equipo. Teamwork. Motivating, motivador. Positive, positivo. Comfortable, cómodo. Pero en el buen sentido. All right? Un ambiente donde se siente usted cómodo. Integrity, integridad, íntegro. Right? So, integrity. So, those are 19 words that describe the best work environments. Okay? So, how is your work environment? ¿Cómo es su work environment, guys? Tell me how is your work environment based on those 19 adjectives. For example, my work environment is professional, friendly, challenging, collaborative, positive, and teamwork. What about yours? What about yours? Mm -hmm. What about yours? My work environment is. Y me dice. Okay, so let's see. Think about at least two. Piense al menos en dos de las que tenemos ahí. Okay, so at least two. Franklin, share with us. Mm -hmm. At least very, very working is okay. my more, work environment is my working very well is mm -hmm. uh, team work okay um, okay uh, motivating 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 okay thank you Franklin what about yours Yvette? My work environment is busy and fast-paced. Okay. Exciting and busy. Busy and fast-paced. 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 Okay. Busy and fast-paced. Okay, Yvette. Okay. What about yours, Johnny? What about your work environment? Um, my, and my work is environment voy a see uh, exciting busy and exciting okay very good what about yours Erwin my work uh, environment is possibly okay um, positive and positive Positive, positive. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So you see, those are common adjectives that you can use to describe your work environment. Okay. Now let's move and let's start with the class. Okay. So grammar part. We have there is and there are. So what can you see on this image? What can you see? What do you see? What do you see right here? There is a computer. There are some messages. So we have some messages. What is the meaning of delivery? Entrega. Buy, compra. Okay. So then there is a computer. There are some messages. There is a mouse right here. Okay. There is a pencil right here. There is a cup of coffee right here. There are two tablets. Two. There is a calculator. Yes. And there is a magnifying glass. Teacher, what is a magnifying glass? Uh, does somebody know? Alguien sabe? 
magnifying glass, magnifying glass. Now, a mag yeah. very good. A, magnif a magnifying glass is lupa. Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now let's move and let me ask you, what do you see on this picture? It is a um, for okay. There are four dollars. There are four. There are some okay, some dollars. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay. There are a computer. There is. Okay. There is a um, cup uh, coffee. There, there is a cup of coffee. Okay. There are two there are, is a pencil. There are pencils. Okay. Well, there is one pencil. There is one. There pencil. is a phone. A there card. is a phone. Okay. Mm. What else? There is a there is a smartwatch. There is a smartwatch. Mm, how many smartwatches do we have? How many? Just one or there two? There is a phone. Wallet. There is a wallet. Two wallet. Okay. Two. Two. Two wallets. One. No, only one. Uh, no. Yes, just one. Aha, uh -huh. what else? There is calculator. There is a calculator. Yes, what else? There is a... Aha. Uh -huh. La lupa man. Aha, uh -huh. how do you say lupa? Mm. Managing class. Okay. Man magnifying. Magnifying class. Man yes. Magnifying glass. Very good. How do you say, guys, monedas? How do you say monedas? No? Coins. There are some coins. How do you say sobre? Mm -hmm. No? Sobre? Like this? No? Okay. So, envelope. Okay. Sobre. Yes. No. Okay. Very good. Now let's move. Okay. Today we are going to cover prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. Okay. Prepositions of place, guys. And we have right here that we use at, in, and on. So please at, help us reading this, uh, Johnny, this. At, in, please Irma, in, and Liliana, on. Yes. Johnny, at. Okay. At point, at the corner, at the bus stop, at the door, at the top of the page, at the end of the rule, at the entrance, at the crossroad, yes. at the crossroad. Yes. Yes. In this presentation. Yes. Yeah. Yes. At the front desk. Yes. In enclosed space. 
-huh. In the garden, in London, in France, in France, in, France, uh -huh. in a box, in uh -huh. my pocket, uh -huh. in my wallet, in a um, board. Uh -huh. And la última no veo, teacher. In a car. In a car. Yes, in a car. Okay. On. On surface, on the wall, on the ceiling, on the door, on the cover, on the floor, on the carpet, on the menu, on the page. On, on a page. On the page. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. So prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. Remember that we already covered prepositions of time. Hablamos de la preposición de tiempo. But those are of place, the lugar. Prepositions of place. At, in, and on. So we use at for a point. We use in for an enclosed space. And we use on for a surface. So we have at, at the corner, in la esquina, at the corner, in la esquina, at the bus stop, in la parada de bus, in la parada de autobús, at the bus stop, at the door, in la puerta. Pero no es que esté colgando algo en la puerta, no, que alguien está en la puerta. Andar quién está en la puerta, le dicen. Andar quién toca. Ok, so... At the door, at the door. Then we also have at the top of the page, at the top, at the top of the page. Okay, al principio, at the top, al principio de la página. At the end of the road, at the end of the road, al final del camino. At the end of the road, at the entrance, at the entrance en la entrada. At the entrance. At the crossroads. At the crossroads in la intersección. At the crossroads. At the front desk. At the front desk. En la recepción. Front desk. Front desk. At. At the front desk. Okay. In the garden, in el jardín, in London, we use in, we use in for cities, okay? We use in for countries, in France, in France, in Francia, in a box, in a box, in, in a box, in, in my pocket. What is the meaning of pocket? Pocket is bolsa, yes, in my pocket. For example, tengo las monedas en mi bolsa. I have las monedas en la bolsa. I have the coins in my pocket, yes, in my wallet. Wallet, billetera. In a building. In a building, en un edificio. In a building. In a car, you know what that is, right? So you know the meaning of in a car. On the wall, on the wall, sobre la pared. On. For example, el cuadro está sobre la pared. We say, in Spanish, just, nosotros decimos, el cuadro está en la pared. Pero en realidad sería, el cuadro está sobre la pared. Okay? On the wall. Yeah, the picture is on the wall. On the ceiling. On the ceiling. En el techo. On the ceiling. En el techo. On the door. Sobre. La puerta. On the door. Okay. So, on the cover, 
en la portada de un libro, on the cover, la portada de un libro, de un cuaderno, whatever, a book, a notebook, a magazine, whatever. En la portada, on the cover, on the floor, on the floor, sobre el piso, on the floor. On the carpet, teacher, what is on the carpet? What is carpet? Carpet is alfombra. On the carpet, on the menu, en el menú. On a page, en una página, o en la página. Okay? On a page, en una página, o sobre una página, because on is sobre. On, sobre, in, en, ok, en, at, en, también. Teacher, pero y entonces, ¿cómo sé? How do I know what to use? ¿Cómo sé qué usar, teacher? Porque, pues sí, como existe at, in, and on. Pero aquí están, lo, ¿cómo lo va a usar? Aquí usted no lo va a cambiar. Aquí le dice. Va a utilizar at con esto. Va a utilizar in con esto. Va a utilizar on con esto. Ok. So. Questions so far? And if not, let's move with this. So from one to four, Jose. From five to seven, Erebin. And from eight to nine, Tanya. What number? From one to five. Okay. Yeah. Period is at the bus stop. Mm -hmm. The cafeteria is at the end of the street. Irving is at the door. Marco lives in London. Irma works in France. Thank you, Irving. The picture is on the wall. My cat is on the carpet. Brian is in a car. Thank you. Tanya. Uh, Jupiter is in the solar system. Uh, my ID is in my wallet. It's in my wallet. Okay. Repeat after me and say Jupiter. Jupiter. Ju Jupiter. Jupiter. Yes. Okay. So how do you say, guys, Mercurio? Mercury. Mercury. Okay. How do you say Tierra, nuestro planeta? Long. Okay. The air. The air is very good. The oh, air. Oh, oh. Yes. How do you say, guys? Um, Marte. No. Mars. 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 How do you say Venus? Uh -huh. Venus. Venus. And how do you say Saturno? Saturn. Saturn. Yes. How do you say Urano? Okay. Uranus. Uranus. Okay. And how do you say Neptuno? Neptuno. It's Neptune. Neptune, yes. And how do you say Via Lactea? No? Okay. 
it is Milky Way. Okay, La Vía Láctea, Milky Way. Okay, The stars, right? Milky Way, the space, etc. We also have the sun, right? The sun, etc. Perfect. So now, guys, questions about this. Questions about this. Doubts. Do that. Doubts. Questions. Right now? No questions? Okay, so I need you to create one sentence. Create one sentence and send it in the chat. Create one sentence and send it in the chat. Create one sentence. For example, my cat is, um, my cat is in a box. My cell phone is in a box. Whatever, okay? Whatever you want. My dog is on the floor. Create one sentence and send them, okay? Send them. In the chat, in the chat. My iPad, my iPad is, Daniel is at the door. Yes, Tanya. Punto en esa oración, punto y final. My iPad is, okay, let me see. My dog is, okay. My, okay, so Johnny, my dog is in a sofa. O sea que el perro está adentro del sofá. O está sobre. All right, so my dog is on the sofa. Marcelo, lo mismo. Let me see. My iPad is, is. Okay, le faltó el is. Daniel is at the door. Yes, the book is, Yvette, the book is on the table, sobre la mesa. Okay, the book is on the table. My pencil, la escritura, Irma, the spelling, the spelling, el deletreo, pencil, pencil. Okay, okay, Irvin. So my money is in my pocket. My car is, Marco, my car is in the garage. Is, le faltó también el is, el de estar, okay? Uy, okay, no, todos en la reunión, okay. Garage. My sister is at the bus stop, perfect, eh, Jose. My blouse is in the closet, yes, Suleyma. Uh, okay, guys, my car is in a car. Yes, Franklin. Laura lives in China. Perfect. Excelente. Utilizó terceras personas muy bien, Yvette. Excellent. Very good. Uh, my pencil is on the table, Irma. My pencil is on the table. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance. So here we go. Brian Antonio Castro Molina. Present. Thank you. Christian Marcelo Ramirez Moran. Christian Marcelo Ramirez Moran. Oh. Okay. I think that I have it in it again. Yes. Okay. So Christian Marcelo Ramirez Moran. Present. 
Thank you. Let me see. Okay. Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrillas. Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Present. Thank you. Gerson Josué Abarca Aranda. Irma del Tránsito Valeria Martínez. Present. Uh -huh. Irving Francisco Peraza Herrera. Present. Thank you. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Thank you. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. Present. Thank you. José Enrique Siliesar Alas. José Enrique. José. No. Ok. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Évora. Jocelyn. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Évora. Ok. Kelvin Omar Martínez Ramírez. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Present. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. Reinaldo. Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Present. En Zuleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Present. Ok, thank you. All right, guys, let's continue. Uh, ok, uh, pause, I think that. Pause. Ok. All right. My shoes are on the floor. Remember that we need to use the verb to be. Ok, recuerde que no se le debe de olvidar poner el, el is o el are. Okay. I'm seeing that many of you didn't add. No me agregaron el is ni el are. Que no se les olvide. Okay. So now let's move. And right now we are going to start by talking about there is and there are plus prepositions of place, but those are different. Those are different. Okay. My money is in my wallet. Yes, Ervin. Okay, so. Right now, we already covered this, okay? We already covered this. Right now, we are going to cover those. Teacher, hay un montón de preposiciones. Yes, there are many. There are many, but those are easy, okay? Those are easy. Son fáciles y ustedes pueden, right? So there is, there are prepositions of place. So right now we have in, on, under, in front of, behind, next to, above, below, between, on the left, opposite, and on the right. Okay, so in, on, under, in front of, behind, next to, above, Below, between, on the left, opposite, and on the right. Prepositions of place. In, en, adentro. On, sobre. So, for example, in. Let's see, number one. Um, Johnny, number one. The card. Is in the box. Okay, the cat is in the box. Perfect. Number two, on. Irvin? There is a cat on the box. Okay, there is a cat on the box. Thank you. Under, Marco, number three. There is a cat under the box. Yes. What is under? Debajo. Under. You can see the cat is under the box. Tabajo. Yes. What about number four, eh, Liliana? A cat 
In front of. In front of what? In front of the K. Caja. No sé cómo se dice caja. Here you have. Aquí te atiende, mire. Uh, in the box. Perfect. All right. So then there is a cat in front of the box. In front of the la caja. In front of the box. What about behind? What about behind? Number five, Yvette. There is a cat in front of the box. In front. This one behind. Oh, oh, Event number the five. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. There is a cat oh, in the hands of the box. Repeat after me, Event, and say oh, behind. Behind? Yes, behind. Okay. And what is the meaning of behind? You know that is atrás, atrás. behind. Okay, Irma, number six. There is a cat next to the box. Excellent. There is a cat next to the box. What about next one, um, Marco? Next one. Above. There is a cat below the box. There is a cat above the above, box. Above. 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 Featuring what is above. Above is sobre. Sobre, but, pero fíjese bien qué tipo de sobre, porque on también es sobre. Ok, so on is sobre, and above is sobre también, los dos. Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia? On, ajá, en on está sobre, exactamente tocando la caja, el gatito. The cat is on the box, está tocando. En above lo separa el aire, right? No está tocando. No está tocando. Pero está sobre. Ok. So then, for example, ¿qué está sobre usted? What is above you right now? What is above you? What is above you right now? What is above? What is above? La caja está arriba del gato. Yes, but above you. Above you. How do you say techo in English? Yes, okay. Let me ask somebody that has been the whole class. Johnny, how do you say techo? I don't remember. Marco, how do you say techo? <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. Irma, how do you say techo? Roof is a ceiling. Ceiling. Okay. So the ceiling is above you. El techo ah. está. Yes. Sobre usted. The ceiling. The roof. Yes, roof. yes, it's also a synonym. But in this case, we can say the ceiling. We am going to say the pitch. Concealing. Okay. All right. So then below, below and under. Fíjese bien, es lo mismo. Under is abajo. Pero fíjese bien, la caja está tocando al gatito. El gatito está abajo de la caja. Y below es también por debajo. Entonces, pero lo mismo, lo divide. Aquí no hay nada. No toca. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? ¿Sí? So, cuando no está tocando. Between. Between. In the middle. En medio. Between. Yes, in the middle, in medio. So, eh, number nine, please, Tania. Number nine. Uh, there is a cat between the box. Between the box. Okay. 
on the left, on the left. Erika, on the left. There is a cat on the left side of the box. Yes, there is a cat on the left side of the box. Al lado on the left side of the box. So on the left means izquierdo. Al lado izquierdo. On the left. A la izquierda. Si usted quiere decir a la izquierda, on the left. Si usted quiere decir al lado izquierdo de la caja, on the left side of the box. And opposite. Opposite means que están frente a frente. Okay, so there are two cats opposite each other. So, ¿qué dice? Hay dos gatos, uno frente al otro. As you can see right here, they are opposite each other. And the last one, number 12, Irving. There are, uh, sorry, there are a cut on the, on the right side of the box. Okay, there are a cat or there is? There is a cat, sorry. Very good. There is a cat. Thank you. Okay, questions, doubts, questions, doubts, questions, no? El, el is a cat, um, for example, in this moment, the lugar, ¿verdad? Um, go again, Franklin, repeat again, vamos, repítamelo de nuevo. El, 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 is, el is a, más que todo veo que es como para ubicarlo en, en un lugar, ¿verdad? Y ah. en, la, en el on, era como en, en este estado, más que todo en la, en la imagen anterior, que lo separaba. Eso es lo que, ajá. on, in y on, o sea. Ah, ok. Okay, so that, that we have at, in, and on, like this. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Yes. So in this case, we are talking about the same. I mean, some preposition in the lugar. Yes. But those are, eh, esas son más específicas. Those are more specific. Yes. But are prepositions of place. Okay. Yes. Okay, so now I need you to create one sentence and the same thing. Send it in the chat. Send it in the chat, please. Use a preposition of place, for example. Um, for example, my computer is on the left side of the room. I don't know. Okay. But don't forget, tiene que utilizar el verbo to be. Okay. My computer is next to the radio. My computer is next to the television. I don't know. Lo que usted tenga ahí enfrente. Busque que algo que tenga ahí usted alrededor, around you. Okay. Yeah, let me see. My dogs are okay. My dogs are next to me. Yes, Jose, without A. Remove A because you are not using singular. You are saying that your dogs, plural. So my dogs are next to me. There is an iPad on the table. Marcelo, uh, an, because I, vowel. Recordemos que utilizamos an con las vocales, right? There is 
an iPad. My sister sleeps next to me. Yes, Irma. Very good. Third person. Very good, Irma. Suleima Guadalupe. Okay. My pencil is on the table. Yes. My book, Liliana, my book is. My book is. My dogs are next to me. Yes. My dogs are on the left side of the bed, Brian. My dogs. My dogs, because we are talking about are. If not, you should say my dog is on the left side of the bed. My pencil is behind the book. Yvette, remove A. It is A. All right, remove it. There is a phone next to the computer. Excellent, Marco. Yes, very good. My phone is on the table. Yes, Brian. My computer's... My computers, Tania, plural. My computers are, are, okay. My windows, uh -huh. what happened with your windows? ¿Qué pasa con sus ventanas, eh, Franklin? Your shoes, your shoes, your possessive, your shoes. Your shoes are behind the door. Uh, no, your, like this, your. Your shoes, possessive. Your shoes, uh -huh. yes. My computer, no, my computer is. Sanya, my computer is, singular. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, so right now, what I need you to do, I'm going to distribute, okay, the whole team. Okay, my dog is, okay. So, Johnny, my dog sleep or my dog sleeps? Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Yes. Eh, por ejemplo, digamos, si yo preguntara what is in the box, que hay en la caja, se respondería there is a cat o it is a cat. No, there is. I. Okay. I mean, uh, for example, what is in the box? Usted tiene que decir, tiene que responder, there is a cat. Porque le están preguntando, ¿qué hay? Hay un gato, pero si sería it's a cat, es un gato. O sea, pero lo correcto sería there is. Mm -hmm. There is a cat. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, si le preguntan, what is that? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? Ok, entonces ahí sí, it's a cat. Es un gato. Ok, thank you. Mm -hmm. Ok, so right now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to distribute the whole team into different rooms. And what I need to do, guys, is that on your notebook, on your notebook, you are going to start answering those 10 questions. For example, there is a, there is a, you need to add the article, a or an, okay? There is a ball. Where? Where is the ball? On. on the armchair. On the armchair. Excellent. And you continue with the other ones. Okay. With your teammate. With your teammate. Okay. So right now I'm going to create the rooms. And, okay. So Brian and Erica. There you go. Franklin and Irma. Well, Irving, you, you should go right. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Three. Johnny. Okay. Jose. Jose and Jocelyn. Liliana. And Marcelo. Marco. And Tanya. And okay, let me see if 
Well, I think that Reynaldo is is busy. Reynaldo, are, are you there? Okay. Um, are you able to speak? A ver. Okay. Okay. Uh, teacher, podría mandarme el link de, de la. The link. El, el link, sí, de la clase. Es que siempre me quedo viendo la pantalla. Sí. Ah, okay. Ahorita se lo mando. Okay. Let me, let me, let me get it for you. Okay. Let me just. Uh, the link of this class, okay. So I think that this is the a one. Me ha servido mucho en el WhatsApp. <laughs> yes, I know. Más rápido en la computadora ya estoy ahí estudiando y trabajando. Okay, so that is the link. I already sent it on the chat, uh, Franklin. And okay. okay, so just for you to to know, okay. So let me let me share my screen, but this is just for you to know. So right now we are going to start by practicing, okay? okay? So first of all, you are going to answer this, okay? Lo primero, vamos a responder esto. Then you are going to move. Después vamos a movernos. And what are we going to do? You are going to create eight positive sentences using their is and their are. Yes? Aquí no se las he dado yo, ustedes las van a crear. Four, four sentences. Four, with the objects that you can see right here, con los objetos que ve aquí. Okay, con eso va a utilizar. Eh, okay, let me, let me send. Liliana, give me one second, guys. Jose and Jocelyn. Okay, no, no ha entrado las, a las salas esos muchachos. All right, so. Eh, okay, first answer this. Okay, then there is. this. Okay, and then this. Aquí están las instrucciones. Okay, ya voy a regresar. Primero quiero que terminen esto. Okay, okay. yes, okay. on your notebook, en su cuadernito. Yeah, on your notebook. Sí, para que vayan escribiendo. Okay, I'm going to come back in five minutes. Okay, in five minutes. Okay. All right. So let me see where it is. Continue, you continue. I'm just talking. Okay. Let me see. Michael and Tanya. No. Uh, que ver in on. Sí, on. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Number seven. Number seven. There is a flower. No, hay que ver. No, una niña ahí en el sofá. Pues el florero está sobre la mesa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, next to, creo que sí, next to Tania. De, de las, de las six. Sí, sí, seven, seven. Next to that, okay. next to. There oh. is... But look at, look at the, uh, the flower. ¿Dónde está la, 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 la flor que, que dicen ellos? La flor. Está... Que en realidad no es una flor, es como una palmera. No, es, es una palmera. Yo pensaba que decía el florero que estaba, la flor que está en la mesa, en la table. Ah, ok. But in that uh -huh. case, se refiere a la que está allá. Exactamente la que es la palmera. 
Ah, pues la palmera, entonces. Yeah. The palm tree. Bigwin, Bigwin, no sé cómo es que se pronuncia. Ah, palm. Between. No, between no. Between. No. O oh, sí, no, no está between no, en medio. No, vamos a ver. Behind. No, es que behind. Es como de, behind. De, de, behind. Yes. Behind. 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 Eso, eso, mm -hmm. es que no sé yes. Behind. Mm -hmm. Yay, very good. Behind. Yes. Behind. Very good. Behind. Uh, eight. Number eight. There is a uh, chair. Sí. Ah, eso sí, creo um, Aunque es, hay dos sillas uh -huh. Ajá eh, Pues era opposite Opposite, algo así uh -huh. Very good opposite. Ok, continue uh -huh. Excelente uh -huh. pero, sería, pero sería entonces, teacher There is two shades no. No, no, no. Sí, I share opposite the table. Opposite the table. There is a chair. Opposite the table. Uh -huh. Opposite the table. Because opposite. aquí le está hablando solo de una. Yo sé que hay dos, pero como estamos viendo esto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, number nine. Number nine. There is a Uh, eso está en medio del sofa and um, Asha. Yes, uh -huh. very good. Uh -huh. A ver, entonces sería, ahí sí creo que sería between. Excellent, between. Uh -huh. between. Yes, very good. Between. Perfect. Está. Number nine. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. Uh, a robot? Robot? There is a robot. Um... On the bed? Yes. Uh, on the bed. And... On the bed. Sobre la cama. Ay, pero que era una rata, decía. No. Robot. Okay, no. No rat. <laughs> robot. Okay. Robot. <laughs> Ah, pues sí. On. On the bed. Mm -hmm. On the bed. On the bed. Sí. Finish. Okay. Now, you finished. I need you to move to this one. Okay. Ah. You, okay. Yes. A students should create positive sentences using their is and their are based on the picture okay so you need to create four four sentences using there is for example there is a dog under the table yes so you are going to use there is and the prepositions of place okay four sentences okay four once you finished okay. once you finish cuando ya terminado I need you to continue with the next activity. With the next activity. Okay. So you are going to read Mrs. Robles' agenda and tell a partner at what time she does some activities. So what is Mrs. Robles' agenda? At 7.15, meeting with the marketing department. At 8.30, video call with the supervisor from West Company and so on. So, Tanya, you are going to ask Marco. Marco, what does Mrs. Robles do at 9 a.m.? And Marco, you are going to answer. Mrs. Robles attends. I don't, I don't, I don't. No. I don't understand, no. Okay. So this one is about the simple present. This is the simple present, okay? So read Mrs. Robles' agenda and tell a partner at what time she does activities. Vamos a leer esto y usted le va a decir mm -hmm. a su compañero, okay? 
¿a qué horas ella hace sus actividades? ¿Sí? Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, what does Mrs. Robles do at 7.15? ¿Qué hace ella a las 7 y cuarto? Meeting with the marketing department. Ok. Uh, Meeting uh, with the marketing department. Lo que yo quiero que ustedes formulen las preguntas. What uh, does? Okay. What, what does? does? What does she do at 8.30? Y que se responda. Muchas veces no va a ser lo que usted... No, el verbo no es el que usted ve aquí. Porque aquí dice, video call with the supervisor from West Company. ¿Sí? Video call. Pero ¿cómo se dice hacer una videollamada? Entonces usted le tiene que agregar el verbo. Aquí se lo he puesto. ¿Ok? Y aquí está el ejemplo. She meets with the marketing department at 7.15. Mire, she meets. No es el verbo, sino que es en tercera persona. Los periquitos se escuchan. Okay. No, no, don't worry. So, she meets, she meets with the marketing department at 7.15. Después, what does she do at 8.30? She makes terceras personas. Makes a video call. What about a nine? She attends, asiste. ¿A qué? A workshops, a talleres. Ok. So this is the simple present. Eso es el presente simple. Yes. Do you have questions? Tiene preguntas. ¿Ahora comprendimos o todavía no? No, 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 dije, um, en, entonces, vamos, vamos a cambiar párrafo, todo. Que hace ella, creo, pero le vamos a cambiar los... Es que como sería, yo entiendo que sería un, como un cuadro nuevo similar a ese. No, no. No, lo que quiero que usted practique son las terceras personas. Vaya, por ejemplo, ok. Tania, what does Mrs. Robles do at 7.15? Uh, she meet with the market, marketing depart, department at 17. Yes, she meets. Entonces sería como formulamos la pregunta y que la respuesta tiene que ir enfocado según lo que está en la agenda. Yes. Así, simil, similar, digamos. Pero vamos, podemos utilizar parte de lo que está ahí. Exactly. Ah. Ok. Ah, ok. Así. Ok. Eh, um, diapositiva anterior yes. teacher cuántas sentencias eh, four oh. okay, okay. Yes. Bueno. Bye. entonces continue with this ok finalicen con esto voy a regresar dentro de unos cinco minutos para ver cómo vamos con esto ok si Perfect. tienen preguntas voy a ya, ya vengo ok I'll, I'll come back thank you perfect okay, let me see Okay, guys, did you finish? Yes. yes, but I need, I have questions. Okay, tell me, what questions do you have? Uh, so I entry too late the class because uh, because the traffic is okay. a, a terrible situation. Okay. But I have a question for the, for the example in the at point. What do you mean? What do you mean when when you say at the entrance? At the entrance? At the entrance yes. means in en la entrada. En la entrada. Yes. And I have another question. Yes. Ahora llegó una persona norteamericana y pasé vergüenza tratando de hablar con él. <laughs> Why, Brian? Se, oh, se me olvidó cómo se dice al final del pasillo. Yo como at the first floor, you down the first floor and the end. Ok, so, eh, al final del pasillo. Bien, yes. al final del pasillo usted puede decirlo at the end of the hall, at the end of the hall. For example, like this, at the end of the hall, I'm going to send it here. at the end. Like ideal, at the end of the hall, you can find the market. 
Yes, at the end of the hall, you can find the market, the restaurant, the bathroom, the restroom. At the end of the hall. Um, at the end of the hall. Because today was a, a difficult for me. It was a difficult and I, use, for you, Brian. and I using all my words at the end, at the finish, <laughs> eh, walk. Don't worry, you walk. Right. Okay, but at least you try. Ya vio que trató, you try. Try, try. Yes, but okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, but now you know that it's at the end of the hole. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. any other question? Um, maybe no. Yes. Yes. Maybe yes. In the, in the imagine, the apple for me, is ah, is uh, is under let me see the apple right yes. apple, yeah. uh -huh. the apple under. is yeah there is an apple under the bed yes yes uh okay yes under the bed very good okay so now that you finished with that let's move to this one okay so tell me what do you see on this picture I see a uh, god on the on the sofa. On the sofa. The archer. Okay. Yes. Archer is the correct. This yeah armchair yes armchair uh huh. Yeah. I see a robot. A robot. In the floor. On the floor. On a robot. Okay. On the floor. Okay. What else? Your... I see a. Mm. Okay, Suleyma. There is a boy on the table. There is a boy. A boy? Ball. La bola. Esa pelota. Oh, there is a ball. <laughs> okay, there is a ball on the table. On the table, yes. Uh huh. What else? And there is a umbrella there is an umbrella on the sofa on the sofa yes that is true mm -hmm. what else erica um there is a car on the floor on the floor okay yes it's on the floor and it is under the orange chair right Yes. There is an apple behind the sofa. Okay, Brian, repeat after me and say apple. Apple, apple. 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 apple yes, apple. Okay, there is an apple, yes, behind the sofa. Very good. Okay, what else? There is a dog under the table. There is a dog under the table. Very good. Yes. Okay, so now let's move. Okay, guys, now I need you to continue with this. So you are going to read Mrs. Robles' agenda and you are going to tell your partners at what time she does some activities. But here you need to ask to your partner, what time, what time does Mrs. Robles, um, or at what, no, what uh, Mrs. Robles do at 7.15, ¿qué hace ella? Okay. What does Mrs. Robles do at 7.15? Tell me, what does she do? What does she do at 7.15? Meeting, meeting with the marketing department. Okay, she meets with the marketing department at 7. Uh, all right, I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, what does she do at 8.30? Uh, she video. She, she, she made or she make? She makes. She makes video call with the supervisor from West Company. Excellent. Yes, like that. And remember that you need to add the letter S. Tiene que dar letra S porque es tercera persona. Okay? 
So continue with that. Continue with this. Continue to terminar hasta esto. Okay? Luego, after this, you are going to complete this one. But those are so easy for you. Okay, what time is the video call with the West Company? What time? And H H13. A30. H30. Yes. And what time does the workshop with the research department start? What time? Nine o'clock. At nine o'clock. And number three, what time does the company close? What time? 5.15 maybe. 5.55 or 6. I think that's 6. Because she is still working at 5.55. So I think that it finished. It probably is. Probably. It probably, right? So yeah, I think that at 6. I don't know. Okay. So it probably finishes at six. Okay. So now let's move. Okay. So this one, don't forget about this one. Okay. Esta la continua. Yes. Then you are going to move not to this. Okay. Este todavía no. Este. Okay. So since we have Erika, Brian, and Suleima, we have three. So Ask free classmates about their schedules. For example, Suleima, what do you do at 7 a.m.? But in your company. Quiero que me hablen de las cosas que hacen en su compañía. All right. So here, Brian, then Erika, and then Suleima. Okay. So tres cosas. Las actividades que hacen y la hora. En su compañía, no en su casa. En su compañía. Ok. So right now, please continue with this. Continúe con esto, por favor. Ok. Los tres. Ok. So I'll, I'll come back, ok. Ya voy a volver. Voy a ir a la otra sala. Ok. So give me one second. Do you have any question? Preguntas? Dudas? Questions? No. no. Ok. Perfecto. No. El... Did you finish? Mm, no. No, faltan dos. No, faltan dos. You're missing the. Okay, continue, continue. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's. La nueve. Hello, did you. Hello. Hi. You finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, guys, so did you finish with this? Yes. Okay. So tell me some things that you see on this picture. There is a robot uh, on the floor. On the floor. Okay. What else? Um, the cat yes. is on the chair on the arm armchair okay what, armchair? Else? what else excuse me there are dogs on the there there are dogs below there is the table mm -hmm. and there is dog below Below the table. The table, see. Mm, okay. No, there is no uh, next to the table. Next to the table, okay, could be as well. What else? Uh, mm -hmm. The apple. The apple. It's below of the, uh, I don't know, this table. Okay, it's below the table, okay. The apple, okay. Uh, the lamp. The lamb. It's, uh, is excuse me, lamb. There is lamb on the table. 
There is a lamp on the table. Okay, what else? There is an umbrella on the sofa. Yes. Uh -huh. What else? What else? Um, flowers. Where? On the table. Okay, there are flowers on the table. Perfect. Um, now, uh huh. On the teddy. Oh, the teddy. Yes. Uh huh. Where is he? On the archway. Okay, on the armchair. Very good. Armchair. Yes, okay. So, Jose and yes. Marcelo, we are going to start practicing the third person with the simple present tense. Okay, terceras personas, simple present. Read Mrs. Robles' agenda and tell a partner at what time she does some activities. For example, what does Mrs. Robles do at 7.15? She does meeting with the marketing department. Okay. Okay. Mm, but in another way, we can say she meets. Oh, okay. She meets. Okay. What does she do at 8.30 a.m.? She video call with the supervisor from what's company? Supervisory. Supervisor. Okay, well, she makes a video call. She makes. Okay. okay. So what does she do at 9 a.m.? Uh, she starts. She workshop. She attends. Attend. She attends. Workshop. The workshop. And. Development. 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 Department. Department to improve the manufacturing process. Okay, continue with those three. Okay, continue with those three. And once you have finished this one, please move to the next one. Okay. Once you finish this, please move to this. To this. So I need to ask Marcelo about his schedule, his activities, okay? But at work, en el trabajo. No quiero que me ponga, me levanto, me acuesto. No. Quiero que me ponga tres actividades que hace en el trabajo. Three. Three Jose and three Marcelo. Okay. Y también a la hora que lo hace. The time. Okay. Okay. So continue. I'm going to come back in five minutes. Okay, continue. Okay. Okay, let me go with Marco and Tania. Hello, so, do you... You finish? Yes. No, no. Okay, let's see. Let's see. What happened? Uh -huh. What happened? Tell me. A ver. ¿Qué, qué preguntas tienen? ¿Qué preguntas tienen? Um, so, solo hemos hecho una teacher, eh, la primera what's time is, is a video call oh ok pero de estas o de esta no de la primera de la agenda de Mr. Robles vaya ok permítame vaya lo que usted tiene que Aquí lo que tenemos que hacer es leer, vea. Dice, read Mrs. Robles' agenda and tell a partner at what time she does. Me siento que mi internet está bien feo. No me carga casi nada. Yes, I, I know. Okay, Tania. Okay, so, what you should do, ¿cómo va a preguntar? ¿Cómo le va a preguntar a su compañero? What does she 
do at what does she do at 7.15? ¿Qué es lo que hace ella a las 7 y cuarto? What does she do? ¿Qué es lo que hace ella, Marco, a las 7 y cuarto? Bien. Aquí dice meeting with the marketing department, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero como para nuestra respuesta, no solo podemos decir meeting with the marketing department. No podemos decir así porque nos están preguntando what does she do at 7.15? Entonces tengo que llevar un sujeto. She she meets y tengo que llevar un verbo. She meets with the marketing department. Es como que usted dijera en español, ella se reúne con el departamento de marketing. Aquí se está viendo market, meeting with the marketing department. Aquí se reunió con el departamento de, de, de marketing. Pero usted ya no hicimos una. Uh -huh. Ya hicimos una que era del primero que sale ahí de make a video card. Ok, entonces sí. ahora, what does she do at 8.30? ¿Qué es lo que ella hace? She, she makes, makes a video call. ¿Con quién hace esa videollamada? ¿Con the supervisor? Ajá, etcétera, ¿verdad? Y continúa en la respuesta. Yes. Ahora otra vez. Mm -hmm. What does she do at 9 p.m.? Ok. ¿Qué es lo que ella hace? Eh... Aquí dice. She, she attend. She, she attend. attend. Ese porque es yeah. una persona también. Es she attends. She attends. Eh, workshops. Uh -huh. The workshops. O solo workshop. The workshop. Ok. To the reason, reasons. Research. Reason. To the research. Um, and develop well todo lo que dice yes mm -hmm. then what does she do at 12 o'clock eh, she, she Sí. ¿Qué es lo que hace, Marco? A las dos. Mira aquí. Workshops, lunch. ¿Qué es lo que hace? Uh -huh. Sí. Yeah. She makes lunch. She makes lunch, ok. Pero ella no lo, no lo cocina. Ella solo ah. va a un almuerzo. Entonces, she has lunch. Oh, va a almorzar. Va a almorzar. Ella va a almorzar. Sí. Entonces viene y eh, la siguiente. What? Does she do at one Si aquí a las nueve ella va al workshop, que es un workshop, es un taller. Si ella a las nueve va a un taller y después va al almuerzo y después dice second part of the workshop, ¿qué es lo que hace? Comienza la segunda parte de su taller a esta hora. Entonces usted va a poner she, she starts, starts 
the second part of the word. The second. The second. Yes. See? Sí. Y nada más que se vaya siguiendo como la idea aquí, que va aquí, pero enfocada al presente simple porque es lo que estamos aprendiendo. Ok, and finally, at 5.55, she sends to more schedule to Miss Lopez, new secretary, and leaves. Do you have questions? Tiene preguntas. Marco? Yo sí no le entendí nada. Ok. ¿En you, Tania? No, yo no, yo sí le entendí. Ok. Right. Ok, so now let's move and let me ask you. What time is the video call with the West Company? What time is the video call with the West Company? What time? It's uh, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, Mm -hmm. Number two, what time does the workshop with the research department start? It's um, night. Night. A.M. O'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Okay. And number three, what time does the company close? Mm. Nine o'clock. Nine It's at uh, two o'clock. At two o'clock? Mm -hmm. Do you think so? What time does the company close? ¿A qué horas termina la cierra? Si aquí dice que a las cinco cincuenta y cinco, ella envía el, el correo, ¿verdad? Con con los horarios y después dice se va entonces a qué hora cierra eh, five five at six it's a six ajá six six o'clock six p.m. six o'clock vean sí es más que todo de llevar sentido y también de ir como con la lógica verdad but very good okay so now Ahora sí. Well, this one, no. Right now, no. Okay. En este momento, este todavía no. Let's move and let's go to this one. What are you going to do? ¿Qué va a hacer usted? Va a preguntarle, Tania Marco, what do you do at work? ¿Qué haces en el trabajo? What do you do at work? What? What do you do at work? Yes. Y Marco tiene que describir tres cosas que hace en su trabajo con hora específica. En su trabajo. No quiero que diga, ah, me levanto. No, eso ya usted ya lo sabe. Cómo decir que se levanta, que come, ya sabe. Quiero que describa. O sea, que vamos a poner la actividad y el, la hora, por decirlo yes. así. Three sentences, three Marco and three Tania. I'll give you just five minutes. So hurry up. Use todos sus recursos. Use sus diccionarios. Use sus recursos. Okay. So let me go with Johnny and Liliana. Do you have any question? Questions? Marco? Uh, no. Not right now? Okay. No. Continue. continue, please continue, okay? Let me go with Johnny and Liliana. There. I don't have 
guys what does um what does mrs robles do at 7 15. What? what what mrs robles do at 7 15 okay Teacher. Yes. Oh, please. Please. Oh, okay. What does? Okay. Escuché que me dijo wait. Que lo esperaba. No. Ah, okay. No. Okay. So, what <laughs> does Mrs. Robles do at seven fifteen? Hmm. What does she do at seven fifteen? Uh -huh. Seven fifteen. She. Seven fifteen. Seven fifteen. Uh -huh. She's doing the marketing Uh -huh. She. She meeting with the marketing. Muy bien. Pero no podemos. She, she meeting, right? No. Tenemos que decir el sujeto, el presente simple. Sujeto, subject, verb, and complement. Entonces no podemos decir she meeting, ¿verdad? Mm. Tenemos que decir she, she meet. meets. Terceras personas. With the marketing department at 7.15. Ajá, es, eh, o sea que se, se va a poner solo en el presente simple la palabra. De decir Correcto. reunión, reuniendo o se reúne. Se reúne. Decir, Aquí, she ajá. Me... ajá. Correcto. Ajá. Y algunas en las que usted tiene que agregar el verbo porque no lo va a ver aquí. Por okay. ejemplo, what does she do at nine o'clock? What does she do? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Where the shop does Ajá. Ahí no vemos ningún verbo, the pero worker. nuestra lógica nos dice que ella asiste, que es un workshop. Un workshop es un taller. Mm. Entonces, a pesar que usted no vea el verbo, pero tiene que saber qué significa al menos lo demás. Entonces, por, por inercia y por lógica, uno viene y dice, ella asiste a un taller. Entonces, aunque no veamos el verbo, tenemos que ponerlo nosotros. Entonces, ¿cómo decimos asistir? What is the meaning asistir? Uh -huh. How do you say attend? How do you say attend? Ah. Ya le está dando aquí las opciones. Yo se las he dado en orden para que no se les cueste a ustedes. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. eh, Ahora. Si, entonces sería she has, she's attend 9 a.m. The workshop. She attends, solo... she attends the workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. Ah, ok. Yes. Compliment. Ok, ahora, otra vez. Entonces, what does she do at 8.30? What time? At 8.30. 8.30. Uh -huh. she, she, she make a video call. She make. With a mid. With the supervisor. With the supervisor from West company. Yes. Entonces aquí ya venimos nosotros y decimos she makes. Porque recuerde que esa es Make. tiene que poner. Que no se lo olvide. Mm -hmm. She makes. She makes. She makes. She makes. Video call. She makes. At... Okay. 
So what does she do at 12 noon? She has um Worsh. a workshop lunch. lunch. Exactly. And what does she do at 1.45 p.m.? She... She starts the second part of the workshop. She starts the second part of the workshop. And what does she do at 5.55? She left... She... Um, she left... She dance. She um, dance tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, she... A show to Miss Lopez. Uh huh. And new secretary and leaves. 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 Uh huh. Exactly. Okay. Now the last, the last question. What time is the video call with the West Company? What time? Nine twelve. Eight. Nine o'clock? What time? What time is the video call with the West Company? Nine. Eight. Eight. Uh, eight thirty. Eight thirty. Okay. So, and what time does the workshop with the research department start? Mm -hmm. Nine. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. And what time does the company close? What time does the company close? Mm -hmm. Se me olvidó cómo se dice eso. Mm -hmm. Pero se me faltando cinco para las seis. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, John. Tengo. Johnny, that is your homework. Esa es tu tarea, Johnny. Mañana se lo voy a preguntar. Faltando cinco para las seis. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay. The first time I I I I ask me the answer. Okay, yes, all right, yeah. all right. So uh, give me one second, I'm going to call you back to the main session, okay? Give me one second. Great. Okay. Mm. Okay, guys, let me ask you, what time is the video call with the West Company according to the schedule of Mrs. Robles' agenda? What time is the video call with the West Company? 7, 7, 15. 7, 15. Okay, are you sure? The video call. The video call. At oh, eight. sorry, sorry. No, no, no. H, H30. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I believe <laughs> All right, don't worry. So what time does the workshop with the research department start? What time? I, I am. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Perfect. Yes. And what time does the company close? Five, five, five to six. six. Okay. Six. Okay. <laughs> At six. Okay. It's okay. For five to six. It's okay. All right. So, and what does Mrs. Robles do at 7.15?
and meets with the marketing department. At 7.15, very good. And what does Mrs. Robles do at 8.30? Use your card with the survives okay. the web company. All right, so she makes, okay, makes. Make, she makes a make video call. A video. Uh -huh. And what about at nine? What does she do? What does she do at 9 a.m.? Uh -huh. What does she do? What does she do at 9 a.m.? Mm -hmm. Atom. She, she, attend. she attends. She attends the workshop. The workshop to their to the research, um, research and the and develop the department to improve the manufacturing manufacturing process. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So right now I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. I'm going to to take the attendance, guys. So once again. Okay. So Brian Antonio Castro Molina. I'm here. Thank you, Cristian Marcelo Ramirez Mora. Present. Thank you, Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrillas. Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Franklin is not here. Okay. So, Gerson Josué Abarcaranda. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Present. Irving Francisco Peraza Herrera. Y Beth Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. José Enrique Siliesar Alas. Thank you. José Enrique Siliesar Alas. José. Ok. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Évora. Kelvin Omar Martínez Ramírez. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Present. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. And Present. Zuleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Present. Okay, so Tania, where is Tania? Tania, Tania, Tania. Okay, Tania, are you able to, to stay for the feedback? I'm sorry, teacher. Okay. I think that no. Suleima, where is Suleima? Okay, Suleima, are you able to stay for the feedback? Se puede Excuse quedar. Me? Se puede quedar para el feedback? Yes. Okay, so Suleima, usted se queda. All right, guys. So let me just share my screen. Guys, remember that you need to complete your homework on the platform. Recuerde que las, las tareas ya tienen que estar completas. Ya básicamente nos quedan cuatro clases. Let me see. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. No, nos quedan siete clases. Siete. Ok, espero que ya hayan terminado todas las, las actividades, ¿verdad? Que vayan al día con lo de la plataforma. Yo les creé el calendario académico para que ustedes vayan al día. Yes, Brian. Sobre eso tenía consultas sobre qué número de tarea vamos, porque un día de esos, bueno, en concreto ayer, que pues no trabajé, entré a la plataforma y empecé a hacer tantas tareas que no sé si ya me avancé, si ya terminé o okay. qué. No okay. sé por dónde vamos, la verdad. All right. Bien. Ok, Brian. Thank you. Bye. Eh, el calendario es este, right? This is the calendar. ¿Sí? Deberíamos de ir acá en ese momento. Así, hasta la tarea 15 tendrían que estar ya finalizadas. Ok. 
pero como algunos sí han hecho más, no, no importa. O sea, si usted se ha adelantado, está bien. Está bien. Con tal que usted cumpla. Yo que tengo hasta la 14. Ah, vaya. Entonces está bien. Entonces usted siga ahora que es la 15, ¿verdad? Porque para el viernes ya tiene que estar hasta la 14. Sí. Hasta, perdón, hasta la 18. Hasta la 18. Y si es posible, para que no se le acumule a usted, haga las que pueda. Haga las que pueda, para que a usted no se le acumule. Porque recuerde que el, el examen final también es así. Entonces tiene que terminar, tiene que terminar todo eso. Hay algunos que van bien, pero bien atrasados en lo de la plataforma. Ok, trate de actualizar, trate de hacer sus, um, sus tareas. ¿Sí? Ok, do you have questions? Tienen preguntas. Ahora, antes de que casi ya nos vamos, you have homework. Va a tener tarea para mañana. What is your homework? Your homework, well, this one. Yes, introducing myself. Se va a presentar usted. Mire el parrafito que tiene que escribir. No va a escribir el gran montón. So, hello, my name is Isamar. I work in the English department. I teach English and I create English classes. I live in San Salvador. I have two brothers and one sister. I have a cat and a dog. My favorite color is blue. My email address is isamar21 at gmail.com. Okay. Es lo que usted va a hacer mañana. Gracias. Se va a presentar usted mismo. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Perfect. So right now, before we go, I just want to hear some of you. Okay, so um, let's see. Brian, can you please tell me some activities that your partner uh, does with the ones that you were actually speaking? Yes. And Erica, she, she writes reports at 9 a.m. Okay. She, sends email at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. and she leaves the work at 4 p.m. Perfect. And Suleyma? Suleyma, what does Brian do? Mm, Brian fights the products on the war. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I no, she she was she was washes washes the the bedroom the bedroom in at four p.m. Okay, so he. He washes the bathroom. Yes. Okay. He, he dijo que él abría la el como el cajero sería she open, pero he, no sé si se le agrega. He. 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 Yes, porque he, he open. Así. Uh -huh. Open. He Así open. normal. He yeah. open. Open. Mm -hmm. Tercera No, he opens. He opens. Box um, AM. Okay. At 8 a.m. Okay. Thank you. All right. So let me see. Irma. Tell me one activity that your partner does, Franklin or Yvette. Dígame una de las actividades que uno de ellos hace. Franklin o Yvette. Um, 
Ah, y eso no lo, no lo hicimos, chicha. Es que es la parte que no entendíamos nosotros. Ok. Oh, sorry. Ok, don't worry. It's ok. Bye, guys. Tenemos que prestar atención y tenemos que leer las indicaciones. Ok, las indicaciones no están de por gusto. Aquí están las indicaciones, miren. Tienen que estar concentrados. Aquí están las indicaciones. Todas sus actividades tienen indicaciones. Todas. Ok. Todas tienen indicaciones. Es lo que usted tiene que hacer. Seguir indicaciones. All right. Ok. So, tomorrow we are going to practice again. Mañana vamos a continuar practicando el presente simple porque veo que tenemos todavía dificultades con el presente simple. Ok. So, tomorrow we are going to continue with the simple present tense. Don't forget que no se le olvide que tiene tarea. ¿Cuál es su tarea? Lo de la presentación de usted mismo. Que no se le olvide eso. Please. Right? Then I'll see you back tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. And Suleima, please stay. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. 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 Teacher, good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, guys. Okay, Suleima. So, Suleima, yes. Okay, so how are you, Suleima? How do you feel? Fine. You're fine? Okay, Suleima. Yes. So, this, uh, I would say, this feedback is for us to hear what you want to say, ok? Queremos saber cómo se siente, sí, qué es lo que piensa de las clases de inglés, cómo se ha sentido durante el curso, eh, si tiene alguna observación, eh, algo que me quiera comentar, si me quiere comentar algo de la plataforma, eh, etcétera. Cualquier cosa relacionada a las clases, pues esa es la oportunidad que me lo pueda decir. Ok. Si sí, no, bueno, hasta ahorita no he tenido algún problema, solo que, que a veces sí me pierdo cuando, cuando habla solo en, en inglés. Hay cosas que no, no, no logro captar. Sí. Pero de ahí con la plataforma solo tuve problemas en la tarea, en una tarea de de realizar unas, unas oraciones que me las tiró malas, pero para mi punto de vista las, las hice bien. No sé si, si cometí algún error yo, pero me las tiró malas y las revisé con los apuntes que llevo en mi cuaderno. Uh -huh. pues no, no le veo ningún, ningún error, tarea? pero son los, no son los mid, mid, no sé qué, parece que son. Los mil, lo, lo de los mil. Yes, yes. Mm. No recuerdo muy bien qué parte. Ajá. Pero sí, me, me salieron malas y yo las revisé con los apuntes que tenía. Y según mi criterio, eran así, tal cual yo las puse. Era de, de reescribir las oraciones. Sí, sí. Tal vez era tarea 12. ¿Ha sido de las últimas? No. Sí. Vale, le voy a enseñar mi pantalla para que usted vea y a ver si, si este, es una de estas. Espérenme, ahorita okay. se lo enseño. En ocasiones lo que puede pasar, vaya, ¿sería esta? No, no. No, no solo eran, porque las primeras eran de responder y ya, ya las últimas eran como dos, dos o tres que solo eran de, de poner así, de transcribir, no eran las cinco completas. No sé si era eso de los mid. De los midder. Quiero ver, mire, lo que pudo haber pasado, no se recuerda, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál? Exacto. No. 
Vamos a ver esas al vez. ¿Esas? Yes, sí. Ok. So, a ver. Eh, le puso así. Puso she speaks. No, she doesn't. Uh -huh. She doesn't speak. For two. For two is punto. Yeah, punto, sí. ¿Así le puso? Sí, sí. Y en la otra es we don't use compu computers. Computers, punto. Yes. Ok. Eh, puede hacer que la plataforma falló en ese momento. ¿Verdad? Puede hacer, es probable. Sin embargo, eh, sería de verificar. ¿verdad? Sería de, de verificar si lo agregó con mayúscula o si dejó algún espacio. ¿Verdad? Mm. También si dejó algún espacio, también. ¿Verdad? Entonces, también la tomó como mal. Ajá, independientemente, en ese caso, si usted es un espacio, probablemente por eso le tomó como mal. Si usted lo puso bien así como me dijo, entonces no tendría por qué haberle puesto mal. Recuerde que las plataformas en ocasiones puede hacer que falle, ¿verdad? Pero si lo, lo puso así como usted me dijo, así está bien. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Ok. ¿Cómo se ha sentido entonces con las actividades que realizamos con sus compañeros, cuando se van a las salas a hablar, eh, etcétera? Sí, yo siento bien porque, digamos, si yo no entiendo y mi otro compañero entiende, él, él me explica a mí. O independientemente alguien no haya entendido, yo entendí, nos apoyamos. Okay. Nos apoyamos igual con la pronunciación. Cuando yo no sé cómo es una pronunciación, me corrigen o yo los corrijo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces yo siento bien, he sentido bien la modalidad de aprendizaje que, que lleva. Que lleva. Uh -huh. Sí, ok. So, solamente como cuando cabal hablamos en inglés, siempre se pierde. Sí. Sí. A veces como que uno se queda, what? Ajá. Ok, sí. eso es normal. That is normal. Ok, eso es normal que vaya pasando como al principio. Por eso es que hemos tratado de hacer inglés y español, porque sabemos de que en realidad si fuera toda la clase en inglés, pues se sintieran un poco abrumados, ¿verdad? por el hecho de que tal vez no comprendieran la mayoría de cosas. Entonces yo trato de explicar en inglés y en español, aunque la clase debería de ser 100% en inglés. Entonces, en este caso, pues hemos tomado como ese pequeño, eh, más que todo como tal vez esa pequeña iniciativa de no hacer la clase completa en inglés para que ustedes no se sientan abrumados al Como momento de pensar, ¿verdad? porque sí se pueden sentir así, es normal. Sin embargo, pues eh, le puedo dar mi feedback a, hacia usted. En realidad, usted es una de las estudiantes que creo que es raro, creo que no ha faltado. Una vez creo que ha faltado. Si, si no estoy equivocada, una vez ha faltado, ha sido muy responsable y siempre está conectada, ¿verdad? Ahí toda la clase. Creo que eso es súper bueno. Eso es de agradecer que la responsabilidad la ha tenido. ¿sí? De igual manera, eh, recordemos que cuando estemos en la clase tenemos que participar. ¿verdad? En ocasiones siempre ha participado, pero me gustaría verla más activa. Que cuando uno pregunte y usted sepa la respuesta, ¿verdad? usted la diga. ¿verdad? Sin esperar que alguien más lo diga. Si alguien más lo dice, pues qué bien. Y si no, pues usted es la primera. ¿Sí? Eh, cuando está pues practicando con sus compañeros o se practica, ¿verdad? Y siempre la he visto bien activa. Eh, básicamente ten, ya tenía conocimiento del idioma. Sí, yo hice dos cursos en modo presencial aquí, aquí en, en inglés corporativo. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces hice dos, dos módulos. Ok, ya tenía alguno, alguna, a, alguna noción, ¿verdad? Porque en realidad, sí, eso, veo, eso veo que ya tiene alguna noción de ciertas cosas y por eso tal vez se ha adaptado un poquito más rápido que los demás, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero, y eso es muy bueno, ¿verdad? Lo que usted me dice es que cuando se van a los demás salones, usted pues le, le ayuda a la persona que no sepa y a su compañero, ¿verdad? Entonces, y que si no, su compañero le ayuda a usted, eso es súper bueno que se haga entre ustedes. Sí. Eh, pues, eh, más que todo, siga así, ¿verdad? Siga así. Recuerde que el idioma inglés es súper importante, no se desmotive, siga aprendiéndolo, el idioma inglés le va a abrir muchísimas puertas, 
¿verdad? Le va a mejorar, le va a mejorar todo, su futuro, sus oportunidades, etc. Entonces es importante que usted se continúe, ¿verdad? Continúe y no se desmotive y que siga incluso dando un poquito más de usted, ¿verdad? Cuando usted esté en los salones... Yo quiero escuchar que usted está hablando inglés, que hace el intento de hablar inglés. Creo que ahora estaba con Brian, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Nota que Brian hace el intento de hablar. A Brian sí. no, no me habla en español. Incluso si él se equivoca, él lo hace en inglés. Entonces, esa es la actitud que todos deberíamos de, de, de tomar, porque el inglés eh, básicamente es de práctica, ¿verdad? Es de práctica. Entonces, y a pesar que se equivoquen, pero en algún momento lo van a decir súper bien todo. Así comenzamos todos. Entonces, tal vez invitarla a que cuando esté con sus compañeros, trate de utilizar el idioma inglés. ¿Ah? Trate de utilizarlo porque su compañero va a ver y va a decir, Suleyma está hablando en inglés. Yo también. Pero si ninguno de los dos, ¿verdad? Es como que los dos en español y así y ya. Entonces, es como que... Entonces, yo también en español. ¿Entiendes? ¿Verdad? Entonces, quiero que usted tome la iniciativa ¿Verdad? En estas últimas clases que nos quedan, porque ya casi terminamos, pero que tome la iniciativa para que después, a medida que se vaya avanzando, se le vaya quitando ese miedo, tal vez de participar y practicar más. Porque si no se le quita ese miedo, obviamente no podemos avanzar. ¿Sí? Okay. Entonces, eh, tal vez invitarla solamente a eso, ya y lo demás, como le digo, súper responsable, ¿verdad? Cuando puede, participa. Y pues básicamente creo que no, no hemos tenido ningún inconveniente. Así que eh, súper bien su participación durante el módulo. Y pues cualquier cosa, cualquier duda, ¿verdad? me puede escribir. Yo con gusto pues le voy a aclarar cualquier duda de algún tema que tenga, etc. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Perfecto. ¿Tiene algo más que, que mencionarme o hay algo más que me quiera comentar? No, no. Por el momento no. Vaya, Zulema. Entonces, vamos a dejar hasta aquí el feedback y la voy a ver el día de mañana. ¿Ok? Ok. Bye. All right. So, no, have no. a good night. Take care. I'll see you back tomorrow. All right. Okay. Bye-bye.